Welcome back. Again, we are with the Singer 114W103. Uh, this is a video for if you have just received your machine and it was packaged, you will need to reset a couple of features. What will have happened, most likely? Definitely, if the machine has come from us, we have loosened this nut here and simply tapped down your needle bar. This will ensure it does not get damaged during transit. We need to, I will leave this loose, but check that it's still loose. You will need to lift up your needle bar. I'm going to ask you to take it out, completely remove it. You will have a needle on the end, just to check that that did not get damaged. We will leave this at the side of the machine for a while, while I run through the rest of the machine. What we need to do is consider our needle plate as a clock face. 6 o'clock being here in front, 12 o'clock at the back, of course 3 o'clock on your right hand side, and 9 o'clock on the left. First I'll ask you, after doing these things, is open up your machine. And this is a general, not if the machine has come from me, you won't need to do this. But in case you've received the machine from a different source, you'll just need to check how complete your machine is. I say this because this system here switches off or deactivates your running devices here forward. So the entire working face of the machine will be deactivated. Once you've got your machine set up, make sure you're turning your wheel always from front to back over. This is the way that the chain stitch machines run. I'm not going to say every single machine created by uh, Cornelli, but almost all of the machines. Uh, the Singer 114 series, definitely all of them work in the same direction as I'm showing you here in the video. This is very important. Using the wheel the wrong way, I just tapped it back there, activates the machine. This is not something that we want to happen. The timing can be affected and you'll never get a very good stitch unless the machine is retimed by a mechanic. Now, when I've got a belt on, it's really quite tight. I'll need two hands to force it out. And again, check if I've done that mistake. And it's likely you will when you first get the machine. Just check that this all runs again. You'll find that this screw here acts like the center of a seesaw. Once you pull your handle down, this will pull this rod further down and freeing up the seesaw motion. You'll hear that click. And it means now your face of the machine is running. Now, what we need to do is ensure that it is switched off, this rod comes up, and the seesaw pushes this block here out, that's got a gully, pushes it out. That'll need to get done by hand the first time, just to ensure it's working. That gap there is very important. If your machine is missing the parts, which is quite common for any machine that I have not supplied, you will need to look over at this side here to ensure that this nut here and the block that it holds into is at the highest point. This system here will automatically ensure that that is correct. Now, assuming we now have that at the highest point, which we do here, we need to bring this stitch length tab to the front, 6 o'clock. When you join your handle on, it'll also be at the front, 6 o'clock. And also, your little crochet hook, regardless of size, has an opening, which will also need to go down into the central pipe at six o'clock. We will have another opportunity to check that it does stay at six. Mine has come through right. I'm lowering it a little bit more and I'm twisting it around so you can see. I now have the back of the needle at six o'clock but I actually need the front, the opening, to be at six and lift it up a little, about halfway between the needle plate and the nipple and re-tighten the nut that holds the needle bar. Use the pliers ever so gently just to move it that little bit extra. If you overdo this, you will crack the nut. It will be almost impossible to remove. Your machine will be needing to see a mechanic if it has cracked off. Replace your cover. Make sure this is oiled well, especially if the machine has been in transit. We need to oil that hole there. We need to oil this hole, the gully, plus this one here, the, the main rod that runs through otherwise it can get stuck. I am going to be running the machine very slow, which I explained in an earlier video. 
you may need to manually push that over at the beginning when you start because you'll be running your machine wheel very slow to begin with. Place your fabric under as previously explained in an earlier video making sure that everything was aligned right your stitch length tab, your needle opening and your handle to the front the machine should pick up stitches within two or three of its first stitches. Remember, rotate twice around, usually to the right, and start stitching. There we are, first stitch up. Cut off your thread, as previously explained in the other video, and we're, we're about to run. Now I have this needle particularly low. I can tell because of the tight formation of stitches. If I loosen up our needle bar again, and lift it ever so slightly, and I do mean this, do this in stages till you learn what slightly does mean. We will find fuller open stitches this time, just simply by lifting the needle bar. And there we have it. There's our fuller stitches, there's our tighter stitches. We may be able to go more. Let's try. You will find at one point it will stop picking up stitches, and this could be a problem. If you're finding your machine, it could be the problem, if you're finding your machine is just not picking up the stitches. I'm still forming bigger stitches. We do service the machines. They do perform beautifully. Look at that. Big open stitches. Still using the same thread, same tension, same tension spring. The only thing we did was adjust the needle height to get all of these effects. This is where you can be creative, and this is why this particular model of machine is considered an artisan's machine. You have a lot of creative play here, a lot of adjustments. You can create a lot of different effects. Enjoy. Yeah.